All right, hello, this is Man Made Mead, and I am back with another mead video, of course. Today I'm updating you guys on what I have working on and giving you kind of a tour of my little space. Um, so, first things first, I have a list, because I use a numbering system, of all of my different meads I've going on. I have uh, everything that's in them, as well as what stage they are on, and like third rack, first rack, all that stuff. So. Now to get to the mead. You've seen some of these if you watched some of my videos. Um, right now I have a total of 10 that I'm working on, including these two. This is the September monthly mead. Actually this is two gallons. It's a little, probably a little more in reality because it's a three gallon carboy. And then this is um, the 12 pounds of, of excuse me, orange blossom honey. It has apples in it. I haven't made a video of me putting the apples in. I should have done that whenever I did it. However, I did not at the time. That has about eight pounds of apples in it, as well as some cinnamon sticks. So, um, and then I, of course, have all of these single um, gallons. Each one of these has a different thing in it. For example, this is number one. So, number one, I just had three pounds of orange blossom honey. I used the Lavlin Q a23 yeast and of course there's all this information there to kind of show you when I've started and all those things. So my numbering system helps me quite a bit rather than having to um, write a ton on the bottle each time I rack them. Uh, these, uh, this is the October monthly mead, still waiting on it to uh, finish up a little bit and really I don't have too much um, crazy stuff going on. I have been racking these pretty continuously. Um, as you can see, like third rack and I think I have fourth rack on this one right here. So they're starting to clear up over time. Um, probably the most clear one right now is this. This was apple and cinnamon. Um, so after more and more racks, these will get better. I have had a little explosion of one time with one of these meads. Um, I capped it too early and it was not too great. So, uh, overall, this has been a really fun process and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching these uh, videos. I keep all of my extra stuff, all my empty glass carboys. I have another three gallon glass carboy there. So, this is a nice little room. It's just a pantry in my house since I'm able to uh, keep it nice and cool in here. I've got a little fan that helps circulate air. It's off right now, so it's because it's kind of loud. Uh, but it's a pretty good system. If you have any recommendations for me for what you think would be a better way to do something or um, a meat idea, please let me know and I'll gladly listen and see what we can do. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.